Hi guys. See who's gonna be getting this love reading. All right, so Taurus. Not a big, big surprise that it's Taurus because I'm a Taurus. But um, <laughs> let's see what's going on, Taurus, and why you need this love reading. I'm gonna be doing Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Love. We'll be seeing what your person feels about you, the energies around the connection, and most likely outcome. So, how your person feels about you is already coming out as the King of Cups. So, feel strongly about you, deeply about you, but there's no communication because at the bottom of the deck is the reverse ace of swords. There's either some kind of closed mindedness, a lack of clarity, or no communication, all of the above. But this person feels deeply. They're trying to emotionally evolve, emotionally mature. They've had emotions for a long time. This can't be anyone new. This is the King of Cups. Intuitively, this person is probably empathic and knows and can pick up on the emotions. Six of Pentacles. You care about this person too. Um, the feelings are mutual is what I'm hearing. And this person is very generous. Yeah, see, Six of Cups. This is someone from the past and they've known you for a long time and they feel like you and them are basically compatible and go way back. But there's a lack of communication because some kind of hurt, pain, stress, anxiety, grief. This person's single, they know, they feel like you're single, semi independent, but Let's see the energies around the connection. So that came out quick, the world. So there's been some kind of ending in it. There's something about it that's closed out. Bottom of the deck, five of pentacles. Someone walked out on somebody feeling hopeless, maybe sad, dealing with some kind of abandonment issues. But it's like both parties know that their deep soul connections, maybe even from past lives, but there's options, confusion. Maybe these people, you and this person, Taurus, don't know which one of these options it is or can't see through the illusions, the illusion. Tell me more about what's going on with Taurus and this person, please. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So the four of pinnacle somebody's holding back somebody's needing to let something go might be a little miserable very protective of their energy there may even be somebody um that is dealing with some baggage that they need to let go of because it's tiring and draining, exhausting from work. Someone's job may be wearing them down, making it hard for them to do anything other than to look and keep tabs, wanting to communicate a little bit. What else is going on with this connection? Oh, that's a lot. It's a lot, but not enough. For Taurus. What else is going on for Taurus, please? Two of Pentacles. Someone needed to make a decision, needed to restore balance in this alignment if it's going to work. 
maybe find a work life home life balance someone's hiding behind a false mask planning though to sneak up on somebody needing to make the choice to love because again lack of communication it's like this person Taurus in this connection someone is having a hard time choosing to let go of something in order to have this for whatever reason um so I guess let's see what this is needing what it what is it needing in order to what needs to be let go so it's already talking the universe the teacher that's you Taurus that's the hierophant in this deck this is the world in this deck <laughs> but something about justice could be something legal and it's Libra energy as well justice the nine of wands and a magician so some kind of manipulative hurtful unfair thoughts forms of communication hopelessness about whatever needs to be let go something needs to die something old and the new needs to take over some kind of big awareness um big wake up call that someone's having about something that they need to let go of but it may be like a I don't know something that's unfair though very unfair and tricky and people don't get along and it's very hostile and people don't know how to talk to each other correctly and this person needs to let this go because it's hurting them and it's causing them to feel beat down so um they need to let go of anything that's basically not allowing them to level up and ascend to the next level or a higher level of life whether that's with their career or their job or spiritually something's weighing this person down and i feel like it may be a legal matter or i don't know a job or something could be another person they're dating but i'm not really getting like third party i'm getting more something like an obligation so what's the outcome for Taurus and this person? Near future outcome, please, for Taurus and this person. Within the next two to four weeks, what can Taurus expect to see out of this person within the next two to four weeks? What can Taurus expect within the next two to four weeks? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So. <laughs> There you are, Taurus, the Hierophant. So I'm gonna take this how it's still a lack of communication or a lack of clarity, but you being ready for the unexpected, staying grounded, elevated, open to something, and being okay, like you still are gonna be able to heal through whatever this is, three of swords. You'll come out of this and I think you'll find healing out of not knowing how this is gonna go and kind of like surrendering to whatever this higher purpose is that you serve. Um, Nine of Pentacles. I feel like this is basically saying this person is not going to be committing. Knight of Wands with it. Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I, can, I hate to say it, guys, but that's that soft boy for girl energy. That in and out, that hot and cold, flighty. Uh, not really wanting to settle down or scared to settle down. All about themselves. And that could be you two tourists that just want to have fun. Um and not really focus on that, but more focus on healing and moving forward to overcome oppositions 
and being in solitude here, the hermit, maybe taking some time to do some deep introspection before you make any movements and, you know, any kind of signals to anyone that it's time to try to, you know, come together, um, your other half. So we're going to go ahead and do some real ass messages. I'm going to try to do different things, different decks. Get a few real ash messages for Taurus, please. Then we'll close this message out. Taurus love. Taurus sun and rising Venus. So Taurus, you are loved. Whoever this person is, like, they definitely have love for you. But you're needing to um, do some healing Know that abundance is all yours. The love you seek will come in abundance when it's time, so don't worry. We also have here Scorpio coming out. So Scorpio may be significant or there might have been a major ending. Watch for the signs of synchronicities in this. So definitely pay attention. Also set some boundaries towards and Maybe distance yourself from anything or anyone that's, you know, causing you and your healing journey to feel like it's not heading in the direction or the vibe that you're wanting. You definitely can block some people if you feel like that, you know, it's just not really on your level anymore. And so... That's pretty much it, Taurus. I guess we can get you a little bit of moon oracle advice. Just a little, for Taurus. And we'll really do that long. Taurus, be proud of yourself. Last quarter moon and Taurus. And that's the only one I'm taking. Okay? Taurus, bottom of the deck, last quarter moon in Libra made time for self-love. So, self -love love is the best love that's how we put ourselves in alignment to be able to have the love that we wish to receive so Taurus that is what I have for you I hope you guys let me know down below in the comments if this resonates please because y'all never talk and Taurus to Taurus I know we're the throat chakra we need to be talking and hit that thumbs up button if you like the content hit that subscribe button and Stick around for your fellow bull gang sister. I mean, come on, Taurus. Until next time, guys, you know, just show major love because we're the best sign out here.